Hey, welcome back to Random Brick Reviews. Today we're going to play some Underdread. It's a game I picked up off Steam. It came out in 2016. It is a uh, first-person horror adventure game. It uh, originally, I guess, retails for like $5. That's a, probably a little too pricey for it. Um, it all happened a few years ago. My daughter and I were taking a carriage along an old... So I paid, I think, 99 cents, or at the most, $1.99. But I think 99 cents. That's an okay price. But we never imagined how long it would actually be. So you go through the voiceover, you're going to explore. Well, the blurb is, a first-person horror adventure game that will take you on a journey through an ancient castle that lies beneath it. Through an ancient castle and that lies beneath. That's whatever that means. Dangers and forgotten horrors await in the dark. All right. At night, I was awakened by some noises. Let's just get to the game. After searching, for, I've also learned about a detective who was but searching. It is nice. It does have voiceovers. Do you like that? So the game doesn't look bad. Standard WASD to walk around. Good. No tutorial. So we gotta open that big stone door over there. And it will give you hints. Press F. And we go over to the drawer, pick it up. Close the door. Now, the game doesn't look bad. Only really for an indie game. When you pick up these scrolls here for hints. And here you go, J. Yeah, for your journal, detective notes. Gives you more of the story. So that's pretty more an I guess atmospheric game. There's no like fighting that from what I can tell. You just kinda avoid the dangerous that's not there. nothing yep. I'm not a huge fan of these type of games because there's a lot of doing this open close open close alright gonna alter Bunch of books. Well, there's a dead guy. Just all right. Like your guy's in the comment on it, and he's just like, "Yeah, this is a dead guy." Another stone. Many leather-bound books that smell of mahogany. in this desk over here. Nothing. Another chest. Nothing. Well, it's got quite a few audio jump scares. Just a rock. You go put the stones in. Right, need one more. Go back here. So you can run, so that helps. So there's a monster up there. You press G, it makes some kind of weird. Move. <laughs> Guess the monster scare easy. Kind of a Doctor Who statue? Not really. All right, need one more stupid stone. There it is. Some little skeletons. Look at that guy. So this guy died standing up and 
it's decayed that way. It's pretty good balance. No, this guy too. Now this guy was like, fuck it, I'm sitting down. So this game got mixed reviews. I could kind of see the point if you paid five bucks, you might be able to. I mean, it's pretty basic, it seems. But I played, played much worse. So, kind of overdoing the audio scares. Uh, key fits, doors open. From the nameless detective's note. I had a hunch that something was wrong with this castle, but I never imagined the actual scale of things going on here. A giant dungeon crypt filled with secrets, mysteries, and corpses. Stone stairs must take you deep down, and then from platform to platform. Outside the room. So you keep going to the center. Down to the dungeons. Since it's not a word. Yeah. All right, so down here and to <laughs> I guess you like to eat down here. Yeah, some bread and a dead body here. Yeah, gross and it's very unsanitary. More bread. Who the hell's lighting all these candles? Yeah. Some gold. Can't what? Can't take it for whatever reason. Uh, one of these wall lockers. A whole lot of nothing. A whole lot of nothing. Oh, that's right. There's like a. Can jump. Just trying to hit space to jump. So no jump button. Can run. Which is fun. Another audio jump scare. That's not scary. And I gotta have this torch here. Yeah, look at that. saves so you would think you would need a key right I mean most of these games like oh look at that it's gonna be locked nah let's go ahead and open it up and some more stairs don't know what to do with the stench all right random what was that I better hide myself those pillars should suffice All right, so I gotta crouch let's, let's turn this off high in the middle of the screen Oops. 
I've done that. This guy's still there. Nope. Oh, yeah, shit. <laughs> Alright, well, I was impatient. But for five bucks, I, I can't recommend it. For 99 cents. Yeah, I'd pick it up if you like this type of game. Got your normal settings here. So that is Underdread. 